Hey everybody, I am so sorry. So so sorry. We hey. Were, uh, we're a little late. Yep. It's a little late. A little late. A little late. We do that from time to time. Do that. I'm we run a little late. Sometimes we run a little late. Sometimes you get overwhelmed. I think sometimes you get less done because you're going so fast. Yeah. You turn around and you know what? You're working here, and then next thing you know, seven, eight, nine. Ha 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 ha! See, dad joke. I worked in a dad joke. You worked in a dad joke. Well, yeah. so I, I wrote seven, eight, nine up there, mm -hmm. not knowing at all what it meant, just because I'm a many times over dad, granddad, and all of those things. All right. Good, good morning. Once again, I can't apologize enough for us running late. I I promise this story will lead us in that direction. Ah, they'll live with it. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Play, play, thank play. you for living with it. We actually, <laughs> I, I love all of the compassion and support we get out there. Um, well, so I didn't, I wrote it kind of not knowing what it meant, I guess. Um, and I was looking around. Oh, I was, I was, oh, I was literally on Google hitting the I feel lucky button. Okay. I'm not even kidding. I'm looking around. For, what? Where are the idea? You know, I need an idea. The funny part is, I was starting to think I should look at Google Trends and stuff and see topic to see if I can glean some topics from uh from from there. Oh God! I yeah. No, Indeed. I can still get interesting topics from it. Yeah. No, I did. Okay, I should. I I, I can I still get interesting thing. topics from but it. But that's not where it ended up coming from. Uh huh. Because I like. Google Trends are weird because they're never personal. No, they're not. They're, yeah, and I'm interested in... I can make it personal. I, oh, I know. No, trust no, me, I'm, I can trust find me. a I know, copy. Yeah. So, anyways. Yeah. So, the point is I'm, I'm out searching. And meanwhile, I've got... I'm out and about in the world, and occasionally I get these weird messages from people going, Oh, you look like a really helpful person. Can you help me? Mm. Um. Okay. And, man, I, I don't... It's not like I have a specific answer for mm -hmm. that or for any particular situation. I go, oh, well, this is my experience. And mm -hmm. So then the next thing I come across, and actually I'd come across it once, then I, I came across it again. Mm -hmm. So all my, my advice was, okay, you've got to slow down. You, know, you got to kind of rest in the pieces and see where they fit. Mm -hmm. um, I found meditation helps me. Mm -hmm. you know, I try to not be us religious at all mm -hmm. I, I try to not ever as much as a lot of these people come to me from places that have a particular faith involved i don't presume to know what a, somebody else's perception of the world is all i can do is like try to, anyways okay so i have this thought and i'm telling her to slow down and i'm telling her to all this stuff and all my you know everybody might now mistake stuff uh, mm -hmm. and all that. note to self note to self when things feel overwhelming remember one thought at a time one task at a time mm -hmm. one day at a time mm -hmm. that's the answer yeah that was the answer i was trying to give her it is the answer that i will go with the world brought me today <laughs> um credit to sean hayes for the topic today i always i always preface my advice mm -hmm. with Hey, I'm not very good at following this, cause usually I'm not. <laughs> so every time, every time I give someone advice, I like try to, I try to remember. Hey, I'm I'm not actually very good at this, but like this is usually the right answer. I think I it, it could These be are, wrong. Yeah. You know? Um. So I run into a thing constantly where I'm trying to share my thoughts and people think I'm an expert. Right. People. No, worse than that actually. People think that I think. That you're an expert. That I'm an expert. Yeah. I do not think that I'm an expert. Mm -hmm. On anything. Literally on anything. I think I'm an expert on one thing. And that's how, so you, to, how to procrastinate. Oh. I mean, I'm an I bet expert. You need, I bet you get better at that. I bet there are people I'm out there. I'm an expert at it. I bet there are people out there. But something tells me, yeah. No, I get what you're saying. Yeah. That, um... It, it feels weird to me when people feel I am some kind of, yeah, ex I guess expert's the best word, but when people are thinking that somehow I, I think I know what I'm doing. 
I don't like I try not to let people put that on me. Right. I try to I try to hold myself to not not like lack of self confidence, but like humility. I try to hold myself to humility. I get that. Like whenever I'm whenever somebody asks for advice, I always like try and litter my advice with, Hey, I don't really know if this is the right thing. I have no idea. But this is somewhere along the lines of what I was thinking when I was going through this or when I was going through something similar, you could be going through something totally different and this could mean absolutely nothing to you. I, I, I don't know. I, I did, really I don't put a good bit of that in there. But yeah, I did consistently go back to then maybe you need to slow down. Right. If it feels so agitated, like you can't find an answer, mm-hmm. you're probably pushing too hard. That you're letting your mind spin. Right. And uh, we all talk about how the idea that, you know what, overthinking isn't thinking. There's no answer in overthinking. There's just yeah, no. more problems. You know, there's just, you get lost in it. It, it ties you up. And just do what you got to do. Well, no. You, it's not even do what you got to do. You got to let all of that go and mm-hmm. do what you're doing. You're, there's... That in that moment, all of that stuff going on in your head is not doing anything. Mm-hmm. So you have to then focus on, if you're sitting, sit. Mm-hmm. If you're watching a movie, watch the movie. I would say, I would say. This is my own, I've worked in a personal gripe, not I would say purposefully. To some extent, I, I would say to some extent, you got to work hard to go against your own nature. I feel like humans naturally don't want to work. Like, we want to work, but we don't want to work at the same time. We want to work at something that feels fun and feels, like, productive, but at the same, by the same token, sometimes we can, like, forget about the things that need to get done so that we can do what we want to do. For example, I really want to make music all the time. I love sitting down and writing songs, and I have a lot of fun with that. But I also forget about the piece where I have to send out links and I have to reach out to people and I have to say, hey, I'll listen to your song if you listen to my song. Uh, All kinds of things. You know, like, all that stuff that I really don't enjoy doing, I still have to do those pieces just so that I can keep making music. My point is that if every time you're doing something, what you're thinking about is you wish you were doing something else, you're not really doing the thing you're doing. Yes. Put that thought out of your mind when you're doing it. Yeah. If when you're doing a thing, you do it, there is a joy in everything you can do. I won't say if that you're present in it, that there's a there's something more to it. If you make an attempt to be present in it, I won't say there's joy in everything you'll do, but I will say that you'll at least get things done. Well, I, I think you'll find things in everything. I think that when you're present in doing things, everything has every process has a meditation. Maybe. Um that the trick is sometimes you got to slow down. Sometimes yeah. the speed bumps are in your road, not because they're in your way, but because you're in a school zone and you need to slow down and learn some things. Right. I know. Do you like that? I've even extended the speed bump to a school zone now, so you have to learn things. Mm-hmm. I, was, I, I was in a car with a friend the other day, and I came up with, because you're in a school zone and you got things to learn. I was like, hey, hey, hey that's funny. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you ever like, you're working. I, okay. I, it's sometimes part of what I'm doing is I, I'm sitting down, writing down these odd little thoughts. Mm-hmm. I'm coming up with my own little, little tiny bits of poetry. I, right. I don't try to haiku cool them or anything, but there's a lot of three line stuff running around. Right. And a lot of, you know, that, that whole, Somebody was telling me I was sounding, I'm sounding very, what they say, very, very zen or very wise. They use something and I don't feel any of that. I feel like the reason I keep a notebook next to me is because mm-hmm. I don't know. Someone said I was low-key and intellectual and I was like, ah. You are. Mm-hmm. I know that. No, you're interested mm-hmm. in understanding the reality behind the reality. Yes. Other than that, I... Uh, well, who? I mean, like, I like, I like conversation. Yes, I like talking about more than just how's the weather today. Yes, but like, 
intellectual comes with so much like i guess i've built up such an expectation of an intellectual in my mind Ooh. that it doesn't i can never like relate to that title you put it all. on so high a pillar that you can't reach it you're the one that put yeah it and i'm like i'm like i don't I don't want to like I, I can reach for it and I'll, I'll have fun reaching for it but, definitely but, do you get that but the, only, the only person limiting you is you i mean yeah but i, I mean I... it feel okay it almost feels like i would hesitate to call myself a genius musically no i would I like would too I don't, and I, 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 don't, I don't i don't like when i i don't like when i hear i don't like when i hear other people saying that like I love Kanye to death, but I hate when he calls himself a genius. I'm not saying like he's not really good at making music and stuff like that. I don't want to like hate on him like that. It's just to call yourself a genius in anything feels cringy. Not just cringy, but it feels like presumption. Yes, presumptuous. presumptuous yes. But, okay, so but intellectual and genius don't relate to each other at all. Intellectual is somebody that's interested in the study of things, and you're that. Intellectual is on is 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 on that level. In no, my head, in yeah, my but head. intellectual and genius don't mean the same thing at all. Okay, I mean maybe I just you're thought out. That's you the... use your intellect. You're a person who uses your intelligence to try and logic things out and understand them. You apply your intellect. You are an intellectual. On top of that, I also know how much my emotion goes into all of my thoughts. Well, okay. So you're part of your thoughts. That's like, okay, you're human. I, I, okay, but is the, is, neat pen? is the opposite of logic emotion? No. No? I don't think. <sighs> Accepting emotion because we have it is logical in and of itself, right? So it becomes a piece of the understanding. Now, mm -hmm. you take the story out of the picture to examine it with logic, mm -hmm. but one of the things you should apply because you're compassionate to your own being is the idea that you also am, are part of the puzzle. Mm. You know, I speak, I was talking to this person and that I, I'm big on the idea that... Um, Partially from our experience, and partially from the concept of it, you can only do it a bit at a time, mm -hmm. is that when you think about the concept of, oh my gosh, I'm compassionate to all living things, mm -hmm. you are one of those things. True. That's the part we often forget. So that when it comes down to feelings or well-being or harm or trying to measure your struggle, Forgiving yourself for struggle covers most of that. Mm -hmm. That oh yeah, this is hard. Don't mm -hmm. don't feel bad for the idea you have feelings. I'm also I'm also beginning to shy away from the need to describe myself. Like I would say I'm a person that likes intellectual conversation. I wouldn't say I'm an intellectual. In my I head, would say I'm a person that well I no nah, I can actually say I'm a musician. Never mind. I was going to I was going to say something stupid about music but I I I I can confidently say I'm a musician I other think, than that I don't No, I don't, you're right. I, I don't think any word can define you. I think the idea of somebody going, "Okay, as a non-defining word." Mm. The idea that you have an interest in intellectualism, intellectual conversation. Mm -hmm. Often is described by people to say, "You're, you're intellectual." intellectual. So not so much as a, "Oh my god, you're a genius." Mm -hmm. I think an intellectual is a person who shows a real interest in in finding it out. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean I know everything. That mm -hmm. means I I think along those paths. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay. You know, it's more like saying you're a musician than it is like saying you're a genius. So add it to your. It's okay. Wear that badge. Okay, I'm a musician and I'm an intellectual. I always wonder. Be Chuck Could D. you could you have called could you have called child Socrates an intellectual? Even if even if child Socrates knew like a fraction of what, well, what I'm saying, up, it child has Socrates it, knew, you know? no, no, it doesn't have anything to do with what you know. Mm. That's my point. Okay. You keep trying to make it a measure of something, and in my, it for me, mm -hmm. the concept of an intellectual isn't mm -hmm. a thing that's measured by amount of knowledge. It's measured by the way in which you approach a problem, or the way in which you approach a conversation so that you can step outside it and dissect it okay. and examine it. So I don't 
you keep like in my head you keep trying to say intellectual is a measure and i don't think intellectual is a measure of something i think it's a, a way of thinking if that makes sense and i okay. think you are so shut up and just take it <laughs> well then but we get lost in all of this mm. these are all distractions Mm -hmm. Um, as far as where our head goes mm -hmm. and how do we get to the point where we're actually doing what we're doing mm -hmm. because so much of all of that is just in our head mm -hmm. we end up limiting ourselves in a way that no one intended mm. because we grind on the gears and go oh you know what they really mean no I'm sure not that no 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 or they we we self-talk ourselves out of the room mm. as opposed to being where we're at in that day with that problem, not mm -hmm. knowing what we don't know about it. I'm sorry. I am tapping like hell, and that's got to be irritating. Um, I didn't even think about it, but I, 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 I'm sure. Better for the report. The other thing is, watch this, watch this. If, if you're out there in the world, that's really, really bright. It's suddenly like, oh, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, see, it's bright. It's like, uh... it it just blows me away. Sorry. <laughs> bright light, bright light. The the reality is, how do you stay present? That even even in our conversation, we watch regularly as we we move. We avoid it. We avoid it. You know what? That we we. Oh, I don't want to do this because of that. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be thinking about this. I'm gonna be doing ten other things. Those of you who don't know, I've got a 55-inch TV on the other side of the office. Small office. Let's just go with it. You know, you have the TV on. You got this on. We got that on. We got the other thing on. But which thing are we really doing? My favorite phrase is keep it simple, stupid. I love it. Mm -hmm. I also like uh, TCB. Uh, Taking care of business. Oh yeah, so T should be right there. I also like that the put it on the side the, of my plane, the right keep under it, the keep it simple, stupid translates. Right under Lisa Marie's name. I like that keep it simple, stupid translates to kiss. Keep it. It's really keep simple. It, keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. Well, I'll say I'll keep it simple once, keep it stupid twice, keep it simple, is that, stupid. That's is really that, nice. Is that I'll thing that you now. said a uh, Elvis thing? Taking care of business. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. Okay. Actually, the funny thing is, I've I've, I've been to the uh, Graceland. It was closed when I was there, but the plane's parked out front. The Lisa Marie, and it does say it uh, says TCB underneath it. Oh, okay. I do like keep it simple, stupid too. Mm -hmm. That it's the idea for me that you can, if you dissect something into pieces, enough of them. They're all simple. Yeah. If you learn brain surgery, it becomes a series of steps. Yes. That as complicated as all the steps are together are just cut, the steps. Yeah. Cut here, tab there, suction here. You know, it, it sounds yeah. crazy when you relate it to something bigger. Yeah. But think about how important it is in the middle of surgery to be present. To be, you know, doing these pieces in order. So much of what we do is processing things. Oh, absolutely. And I absolutely. Think, I think there's a lot of there's a lot of trimming the wheat from the chaff that has to be done as far as the processing of getting things done. And I think the more the more you do it, the more routine it is. The more I think I think a lot of times people do new things mm -hmm. or like at least from what I've seen like people that people that have a drive for life mm -hmm. always pick up new things like What's Kanye is always picking up something new Kobe was always picking up something new um I'm trying to think oh of some other God. people I'm trying to, no I'm, I wish you had No better... seriously I'm just looking for a no, list I'm saying, so much I'm, I'm just saying I'm just saying people that have a a want to live life and do new things they're constantly 
taking this thing. I don't think those are good examples. Okay, pick a, pick another example. Because I think that's a life thing, not a give me a, another a person example, thing. Well, that. Okay, Joseph Gordon Levitt. Okay, Joseph Gordon Levitt. Um, because he's gotten highly involved, and in not only a he's still doing amazing acting, and right. will soon be playing. Oh, my head hurts, and I knew the answer to this question, but I don't remember it. Um, but I love Justin Gordon Levitt. He's also got Hit Record, which is an app. If anybody out there wants to do voice acting, wants to try their what photographs they work, wants to work in a community similar to what we're trying to build. Mm -hmm. Um, but this is all related to entertainment. Yeah, you, you you can write, you can, and they have these group projects. So he's somebody that is extended into just bringing bringing in more mm -hmm. people he's interested in. He's worked with Logic. Logic's yeah. involved with that as well. Um, that I think once you're open to the idea that there's there's a wonder, mm -hmm. like there's a wonder and a gratitude to being in a place with all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. So obviously, all of these, all of this stuff floating around. This I, I would, I would say, I would say that I don't know Joseph Gordon-Levitt, but I would say that Joseph Gordon-Levitt seems like the type of person that really has fun living life and I think that's an important really part. tries to enjoy it and okay he does acting so at some point in time acting probably not saying he he doesn't he doesn't not i i don't know how much joy he takes from acting right i don't know a lot yeah no you're there's but i'm be a saying presumption here but no, 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 no 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 what i'm saying what i'm saying is that that one thing that you do that you're so skilled at Mm -hmm. At some point in time, it's going to become mundane. Not saying it won't become fun. See, no, I don't think not, it's a boredom not saying, thing. I don't not think that's saying, related. No, 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 no. No, just let me get it out. I'm trying. Not saying it won't become fun. or Not saying it's not fun anymore. But you might want to do something different. Like, just try try a new thing that you've never tried before. See, I see it totally differently. The record, the hit record thing in my head seems like a, a like he's doing a new thing that he's never done before. Well, no, I think he has an interest and wonder in the world. Mm -hmm. I don't, I think the difference, why I pointed out, I think that sounds like the ego-driven thing that I was having trouble with the Kanye and Kobe, Kobe I'm saying versions. that, I think. That I don't think that's, I don't think that's a good way to go at it. I think that a good, a good way to approach life is that you need to do what you enjoy, perfect what you enjoy, and find other things that you enjoy. I think. And keep doing that. I think. And if you if you if you if you eventually reach a place where you aren't finding new things that you enjoy, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep keep having fun. Keep enjoying what you're doing. I think you're I don't know. For me, in defining it that way, it limits your ability to find new things. How so? That I'm not the master of anything uh, that I still, there isn't anything I'm not still learning in ever. First I don't off. think that there's anything that you can master. I just think, I think that you can reach a place where you're comfortable enough in what you're doing that you can want to do that and also try something else. I think if you're waiting to be bored with one thing to start looking for other things, you're going to find yourself bored the majority of I don't of think time. you're going to get bored with it. That's not what I'm saying. Well, no, my point is that mundane, any of the words you want to pick, um, that I think the greatest joy is, well, first off, it isn't just the simplicity of what action are you taking. It's what, where, and when. I think, I think that I'm always going to have fun making music. I just think that as I get older, I'm going to add more things that I'm going to have fun doing. I, I think I'm not saying that isn't true. I'm saying the direction. I think being open to the idea there are joy in all things means that you're not at one thing ever. That the central focus on a singular thing is never an opportunity. That's a defining moment where you've decided to be less. So I never define myself by said, a singular you moment. Just said, you just said that to be in the moment and to actually focus no, on I what can... you're doing as you're doing it. Okay. Yes, whichever thing you're doing. And yes. you do different things all day long. Yes. 
and whatever thing you are doing, you should be doing. Yes. And the reality is that all of those things will offer joy and new paths. And limiting yourself to a primary thing mm -hmm. as like lifetime, this is what I'm doing, is a lie because I'm here right now and I'm doing what I'm doing here. Mm. That the simple, like, yes, there is focus. Mm -hmm. Focus on what you're doing. But at the same time, you can't let yourself lose the wonder in the rest of it. That's when it all falls off. When you're not slowing down to smell the flowers and taste the fruit. When you're not realizing how much more is going on and what you're really a part of. For me. I, I, and I'm not trying. I'm just going. I don't understand how what I said is in opposition to that. I don't, I don't think we necessarily are. I think we're just in very different directions. I don't find the singular focus and then I get lost with it. I don't find that's a path that resonates with me at all. I didn't. All. I, I wasn't trying to say you find a singular focus. I'm saying, I'm saying find a thing to focus on for the moment. Have fun well, in doing that, I and then find something else. I think your perspective that anybody. If over you can't a day, find something else, go back to it. If anybody thinks that over a day they're thinking they're working on a singular thing, they're lying to themselves and not paying attention to the things along the way. You weren't doing, well, you weren't what sitting when you were sitting, you were still thinking well, about what, that. Part of, what, part of what I'm saying is, in doing this one thing, you need to pay attention to all the, facet of, all the facets of doing this one thing. Well, but there's, but, so, no, for example, for example. You're not one thing, ever. What I'm saying is, when you're making, okay, when I'm making music, I have to focus on, right music. now, I'm making this music. Then, I know that there are other facets of the music business and and what I want to do and and actually making this a career there are other other pieces that I have to focus on at different times but it makes you so I have the to, way you're looking at it makes you lose focus on all the other no. things going on around you that are really important and then you miss what I'm them saying you is, don't get any what I'm time for those because you're singularly thinking about something that isn't even going on I have to dial into the thing that I'm doing while I'm doing it I'm saying the same thing you are I'm not arguing with you I understand but what I'm saying is the problem for me is at the part when you say I'm singular in this thing, you deny who you are. I'm not singular in this thing. I'm doing this thing right now. Well, I un This well, is the you, thing well, that I'm doing right now. When you described Joseph, Joseph Gordon Leather, or mm -hmm. when you described Kanye West, or mm -hmm. when you described who else we give Kobe. Yes. Um, there are two that have a blind focus that ruin their life, and one that appears to have a joy. I. I I don't think I can say that it ruined their life. I think they lived the lives they wanted to live, both of them. I don't disagree. I just say it didn't look very happy. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know I'm, them. I, I don't know them either. I'm just from know. what was available for public consumption. From outside looking in, I think they had a fun time. They looked pretty lost to me. Maybe they were. I don't know. I mean, only when I, I mean, if you look at everything Kanye is going through right now, he obviously feels lost. Um, he lost Kobe, literally, but it looked like he had gone through some serious struggles while trying to figure out where he was at in the world. He was spending more time with his kids. I know, that's a good thing. He spent a lot, he spent a lot of time worrying about that. That I, I think. think he had come back to that focus. I think that that was good that now he had time. He also wanted to coach. He had a lot of things that he wanted to get no, done. I'm not, I'm not. I I think I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm trying think, to I'm trying to point you at what really happened in his life. Mm -hmm. I don't look at how he destroyed teams, couldn't get along with teammates, and you're going, okay, no, he looked like he was happy. I think that because happiness... he had such a focus beyond an ability to even recognize that he was not just Kobe he was a part of something else which was mm. why over and over again I've I've hit that same wall as we're having the conversation is that the difference is in outlook mm. perception now admittedly different perceptions I'm not I'm trying to I'm trying to just have mine be an equal part of this conversation I got you. um anyways we'll talk about that after the show okay uh, <laughs> that the reality is you can become so centrally focused that you miss the rest of life. 
But that's very real. That taking one day at a time has to accept that the day is part of that. That there's more mm. to the day than, oh my God, I'm focused. There's, I'm focused on stopping. There's, I'm focused on sitting. There's, I'm focused So you're still on... focused. Whatever you're doing, you're focused. Well, if you're even doing... if you're focused. If, if you're doing you're fo it right and don't have just one even, focus that's eating your life up. Even if you're focused on, I'm breathing right now. But all of those focuses are ruined if you're so centrally focused on a singular thing. That it ruins your life and makes you incapable of sharing focus with other things. That's my point. I'm saying that you're not. I agree that's that would not be what the, I'm saying. That's but not that's what, what goes on. That's not what I'm saying. I understand, but that is what happens. Isn't it? No. Look at Kobe and Kanye. You focus on what you're doing when you're doing it. You have fun while doing it. I don't disagree with what you're saying. We just are both, I'm stuck on that singular concept breaks people and mm -hmm. destroys their lives. Mm -hmm. And seeing the true value of the rest of the world as opposed to just your singular ego. It's not about ego. ego. But it is. It's Those not, people no, it's live not about on ego. That. It's not about that. Okay, so what are they doing different? If, you're, if, if what you're doing in this moment is taking a back seat and listening to somebody, take a back seat and listen to somebody. Absolutely. If what you're doing in this moment is is focusing on yourself and your mental health and just breathing and taking a second to to sit and relax, do that. If what you're doing in this moment is is making music that you you personally enjoy that other people may not enjoy, do I, that. I, you know that I, I believe, what I'm saying. What I'm I don't saying, understand what. You're literally avoiding talking about the what piece saying, I keep bringing up. The piece you keep bringing up isn't a part of my argument. That's not what I'm saying at all. Well, but it That's was, not what I'm saying. But it was my discussion about why I saw a difference between the two. Why won't you address it? The part you're talking about isn't at all what I okay. believe in, I guess. And so what, what I'm, I'm trying saying. to point out is I see that in things. Mm. How do you deal with that? How do you deal with that? Your point was a very linear, singular point. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, how do you deal with the fact that that destroys you? I don't think that if destroys you, you. If I look at these people that were strictly ego-driven versus these people that were looking at the world as a place full of knowledge. Mm-hmm. When I look at the strictly ego-driven, I watch the ego destroy. How is what I said an ego-driven point of view? Well, your first two, okay, I came up with a different example mm -hmm. because of the two examples you gave. Okay. So very specifically in that point first, at the very first point you made. No, I'm saying what I'm saying now, the actual point that I'm talking about right now, how is that point ego-driven? Okay. I'm trying to have the whole conversation. Mm -hmm. And talk about the point you're singularly trying to avoid, mm -hmm. okay? which was at the beginning of the conversation and all through the conversation. Mm -hmm. You've said it's fine to have a primary singular focus. And my point is, I don't know anything about anything. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. That when I look over here, I see an example that appears to be embracing the interesting and wondrous nature of it all. Okay. And when I look at the two examples you give, I see ego-driven people that can't accept the idea that wisdom comes from more places. I don't think you should have a primary, primary singular focus for all of your life, but I think you should have a primary, primarily singular focus for the moment. Okay, no, we believe in being present in the moment. Both yeah. of us have agreed to that. I, yeah. I don't... Yeah. I don't believe in the other piece that you were just talking about. Okay, cool. No, that I... Yeah. Literally, it was your conversation. I was st strictly going by the things you said, as I always do. Always. I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I was very... I'm saying... I'm it's saying, a very important... For me, in my perception, mm -hmm. it's a really, really, what really important... Can I finish? Sorry, 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 sorry. Please. Go. TT, and this is why I don't do more of this. As much as it's being trying to be forced that it's an unnatural way to go about conversation. 
And the goal here isn't to be constantly in conflict. That for me, the perception of ego in direction causes a great deal of issue. Um, I've spent a lot of time lately trying to rest in the pieces to try and see where things fit. I have more than I've had in my 50 years more than enough conflict. Um, and I, I love a good conversation. You, you know that. I don't enjoy fighting for fighting's sake and probably won't do that again. Um, I definitely won't. I'd probably end the next show where you're saying no, 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 no to me. I'll be honest. I don't care who it makes happy. I'll just walk away. I'll do the next show the next day, but I'll be done with that show. Um, then I started with a particular thought. And I pointed out what I was trying to have a conversation about, which was, hey, I don't know that I can accept those examples. Mm-hmm. I, I tried to continue down that route and have that conversation. Okay. And I can't have legitimate conversations if we're not going to actually let both of us be a part of the conversation. I tried to step away from those examples. Well, I know, because you didn't like them anymore. No, because you said that we couldn't use those examples. So I, I didn't say away. we couldn't use them. I said I don't like those. I don't so know that I we could. Away I said, us. well, but my point was you continued down that route with a discussion of here is a singular purpose or a I focus. Ha- I had a thought, and I was no, trying no, to I know. express I'm with the you. thought with the examples. So when we when we weren't going to use the examples anymore, I was going to try and still express that thought with this with a different example. I, and, and so then when you got to, once again, a singular and then mundane, and I, I was back at the exact same spot and was having the same conversation still. Okay. That um, for me, at least, and it, it, this is all perception, folks. I, I, first off, let me, I love my man. I, this is not a big, this is, we work out a lot of things. Um, my perception is that one of the most important things I can do is allow my sense of wonder to guide me as opposed to my ego. It's how we ended up here to some extent. That I am, so I'm continually sort of caught on the idea of a non-ego based progression. I I wonder why do you, do you think, do you think that, do you think that Kobe and Kanye were guided by ego more than wonder? Yeah. And why do you think that? Kobe couldn't be spoken to by the other players. Kobe couldn't work with other players. Kobe thought he was better than everybody else. I'm not saying he didn't outgrow that. I'm sure he did. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, very ego-driven. Okay. Um, Picture the path of, like, LeBron, who, don't get me wrong, has, I'm I'm assuming, a pretty good-sized ego in his own right. What Uh, if he was just interested in different pieces? Is that not valid? No. What do you mean? So I always wonder I always wonder if Kobe and LeBron the difference between them is just that they were interested in different pieces cuz it seems to me it from an outside looking in it seems to me like LeBron is a little bit more interested in making sure that the team does well talking to the players talking to the coaches being cohesive You get that it's egotistical to act the other way right That's not an interest I'm that's saying, a I'm saying, that's a behavior towards Kobe, other people I, I'm saying maybe Kobe was just worried about the basketball I, i'm my point is that's not an interest that's called being human and good why because the other is egotistical and doesn't take into any concern the people around you that's like the definition of egotistical right ego driven when you can no longer see anybody else and all that exists the only expert in the room is you, ever. Mm. You're never, first off, you're never the expert in the room. There's always people that know things you don't. Um, to think you've mastered something in relationship to the people that have come before you is to lie to yourself. So LeBron can't think that he's mastered what he's done? 
that no one is ever going to do any of that better, so you're the master of it all? There's nothing else you can ever learn? Come well, on. I, don't think, I don't think Kobe thought that there was nothing else he could ever learn. I yeah, think I mean, he was constantly working at learning more things. Well, the, about a singular thing and losing focus on the fact that other things also mattered. Like the other human beings around you. And that was my point. Why did that you was, start coaching them? No, I think it comes around as you get older sometimes. I don't, I'm not saying this is how this person passed away or what their full perception of the world is. Mm-hmm. I'm saying there was a moment in his life that was strictly ego-driven, which was part of his career. Oh, okay. And so I give LeBron credit for the fact that, A, he cared about his hometown. It went a different way than he, it, he planned, but he cared about the people and made that happen. That he's shown a compassion, a, a he was actually present. Kobe wasn't. In the world of doing what you're doing, mm-hmm. Kobe wasn't. I think he was still doing what he was doing. Because being present means aware of all of this. Mm-hmm. It means this is part of you. Now you're present. You have blinders on like this, that's not present. Mm-hmm. So that denies the wonder. Anyways. It's an interesting thought. You know what? So for me, and and maybe that's where we're hitting it, is when I think of being present in the moment, Mm -hmm. be here now, you know, you can only do today, this Mm -hmm. moment, this thing you're focused on. I don't think of it ever as shutting everything else out. I think of it as here, but here. I think, I almost think that there's a little bit of both involved. Yeah, no, I'm with you. And I think you have to know where you're going, but also you have to know where you are. There's a little bit, like, there's a little bit of both. And I I, I kind of I kinda got a little bit of this from being in New York. Oh, okay. Um, and like there's a there's an energy of <clears throat> my cousin my cousin like when i when we first took the train um he kind of tried to explain to me like you don't really pay attention like you don't really like look at other people mm-hmm. but you pay attention to other people right like you pay attention to your surroundings but you don't like get into people's business you're present yes you got that so when, when I used to run a pizza shop, I'd look at the, the drivers because we were not in a great neighborhood. I'd say, listen, mm-hmm. if, you're wa- if you're going into somewhere that looks shady, first off, case the joint. Drive around it. Make sure you can see all the spots because if they are going to jump you, they already cased it. You should too. Okay. And then if you don't feel comfortable, make them come out and get the pizza. Right. That the reality is be aware. Right. That's all. I... I I'm not knock on wood. I never got robbed. I, I give some credit to the idea that I, I tried to be cautious. Well, present, mm-hmm. aware of what's go- like, not like this. <laughs> this isn't present. This is a different present. No, that's not present. I think you're present in different things. No, no, no. If you're look, if you're in a conversation and you find yourself doing this with your phone, uh-huh. you are not present. You're not here. Well, if you're in a conversation and you're doing that, then yeah. But if you're by yourself and you're just doing that, then well, no. I think in general, no. I I didn't that mean. Could be a I mean present. as a as a distraction, like okay, everybody walking through the world like that, right. everybody having conversations like that. Don't don't anybody tell me you're listening to me with a phone in your hand. It's just not. You're I'm not present. Watching this on a phone. <laughs> now, admittedly, we would like to, you know. As we wrap this up, hope that all of you are ignoring someone right now (laughs) in this moment. (laughs) I hope that you have just the best Kobe-like focus or like (laughs) you're like, you're lined in. You're like, where's the line, man? I just (laughs) need that line. (laughs) And that you can't hear anybody else around you because you know what? We're just the best. (laughs) And you know what? Today, do today. Like, be, be here today, not here, here. Well, 
Actually, if you want, you can replay all of our stuff on YouTube over and over again while you go through your day. And then it'll say that, and we'll be like, oh, my God, look at how much they watch today. <laughs> the point is, you know what? You got to be present. Um, that's something you can give the people around you. Yeah. Compassionate listening is something we were talking about. Be present. Mm -hmm. Today, be present. Today, yes. let yourself be where you are, even if where you are is hard today or where you are is easy today or whichever combination of things it is. Be there in it and let yourself sort it out. Let yourself feel everything going on and go, damn, okay. And I think probably Kobe and LeBron and all of those people probably ended up doing some meditation by the end of it all. They all seem like really great people. And I really enjoyed the, the picking it apart with you. I yeah. feel really good on the other side of it, but man, we're interesting in the middle. Shut up, Tutu. <laughs> Where's the line? Monday through Friday. Oh, about 12.30 o'clock-ish, you know, for about 45 minutes an hour. <laughs> See you guys at 12.15 tomorrow. Oh, it flashed red, but I forgot to put the thingy up. Don't, don't, don't. That's fine. Ta-da! See, I know. Ta-da! We're technical wizards here, okay? <laughs> you know, I just wanted to say again, thanks, Sean, for the topic. I wasn't trying to be uh, argumentative. I was just trying to, I don't know. Spice it up. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You were listening to TT. I know exactly what happened. I was here. No, but it was a thought that I was having. I know, but I'm so, not into it. It wasn't. I'm not into it. No, I know, but I'm into us having a conversation. I, I hate it getting. I, I seriously will turn it off next time. You're no, 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 no. And, you know, I'll just walk away for the day. <laughs> I'll just be like, now nah, I'm done. <laughs> If I can't have thoughts, I'm not going to have thoughts. I'll be out. That shit drives me crazy. Anytime you do it, episode. I, I don't know. It's one of those that... It it's like, you like that. It feels offensive. Like, you're looking at me going, wait a minute. I'm... Okay. <laughs>